right, I've got my live rig all set up here, ready to go. I'm gonna get playing in just a moment. First, a super thanks to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. They've provided a couple of key pieces of gear for this live acoustic rig. I was chatting with Sweetwater a few weeks ago, and I was mentioning to them, um, I like, I want to get back into playing because that's what I used to do years ago, and maybe eventually playing out live and doing like acoustic open mics and stuff like that again. But for now, I want to add something to my to my live streams when I do these live streams on YouTube. A couple things I couldn't do. I didn't have the, uh, the equipment to plug it in. So they suggested a couple things. They provided them. I'm super grateful for that. It's amazing. And uh, so we're gonna, I'll get into them. Let's talk about what they are first. PZ Pre from Radial and uh, H9 Max from Eventide. So just a quick disclaimer, it doesn't self-unbox. But anyways, what is the H9? It's a stomp box from Eventide. It's loaded with a bunch of presets. You can customize it. it this thing is crazy what it can do. And I'm going to use it for vocals, <laughs> of all things. You can use it for guitar effects. I'm going to take it, plug it in, and add some effects to my uh, vocal part for the singing. And that's it. I'm just showing the, the inputs and the outputs. you got MIDI. This isn't going to be a full review of the pedal, though. So here's the PZ Pre. Again, not self-unboxing, but wouldn't that be cool if that was a real thing? So this is the PZ Pre from Radial Engineering. It's proudly made in Canada, like me. Shout out to mom and dad. There you go. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Designed with acoustic instruments in mind, so you can plug in two acoustic instruments and switch between A and B. I'm just going over the front panel here. I'm not going to be using all the settings. I'm actually going to be bypassing quite a few of them. But my acoustic guitar, I'll show it a little bit later, it has a piezo pickup. It's a Fishman transducer, and this is perfect for that. It's a, This is a preamp, so it's going to give my guitar the best possible signal. And uh, I can boost it if I want. I can run a looper through it. I could actually take the H9 and, and loop it through this pedal and then have it go out. You got the mute, you can toggle between the two. So you can plug in two instruments, but you can only have one going at a time. So I don't know what I was pointing at at this point, but I was trying to say, hey, focus. And then you got your line outs, you got XLR, post EQ out or pre EQ out. So you can go with everything mixed or you can go with the raw signal out to a main board. Designed for live performance. You can plug in a tuner, so much stuff. Anyways, let's check it out. Okay, when I said I can run a looper through it, what I meant was it has an effects loop. Looper and effects loop, those two terms get mixed up all the time. So yeah, you can run the H9 through it if you want. I'm not actually going to do that, but I just want to show that's a possibility. Here's the plug on my, my guitar. That's the transducer plugging in. I'm going to go right into the PZ Pre on the side there. And then I'm going to take an XLR and go out with my mixed, mixed blended. And that's going to go into my interface. I'll show that in a second. This is the microphone I'm using. So I'm doing something different. I don't like to do normal stuff, right? No XLR input, but I want to take my mic and I want to plug it into the H9 to get some effects running through it. So I got one of these transformers from Sure. I think it's an Optimus Prime. I don't know. I don't know the names very well. There you go. Going in. It's got two ins and two outs. So I'm going to go in and then I'm going to take another cable and go line out into my uh, Focusrite 2i2. This is my acoustic guitar. Just a quick preview. And then how do I get into my computer? A USB interface. This is a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. And there's the, uh, the output going for each one. So there we go. Well, there you go. There's a quick overview of each one. I'm just touching the surface on what I can do with the, uh, the H9. The PZ Pre is very cool. Um, I'm new to radial as well. You'd think I'd know about them being a Canadian company, but there's just so much stuff out there. So let's get into some playing. I'm Mr. Right. I'm Mr. Wrong I'm just a person Singing along No one hears me Walking around Won't help me up They'll push me down And I know There's something in me Air tonight I'm noticed And I know There's something in me Air tonight I noticed I'm old I'm a 
miss my house and I miss a car I miss the street so very far I miss a walk without my own ears Containing the sounds and hiding the tears And I know there's something in the air tonight I noticed and I know there's something in the air tonight that solo.
All right, there you go. Got to uh, see what I can do with this this setup. Leave me some leave me some feedback in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this. If you'd like to see more of this, again, super thanks to Sweetwater for providing the gear to help me get this all set up. If you are interested, there is affiliate links in the description. You can check that out. Affiliate links uh, give me a little bit of a perk. They don't cost you anything more. It's using my links and supports the channel. And that's it. So greatly appreciated. Leave some comments about this stuff. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions, any tips, any advice, I'm all open for it. I'm all for it. Constructive criticism. Do it. All right, that's going to be it for this video. As always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you love that solo. I wrote it. I erode it. I erode it.